I have just arrived in the most colorful country in the world. I am not exaggerating. It has towns that are painted in one color. This town is blue, this town is white, and this town is red. What is the country? Welcome to the country of color. In Chefchaouen, everything is blue. Blue houses, blue doors, and blue streets. This is because hundreds of years ago, local Jews painted the town blue to look like the sky. In Marrakesh, everything is red because it's built from clay. And in Casablanca, everything is white because it symbolizes purity. Even Casablanca means white, white house in Spanish. Spanish. And it's not just towns, it's everywhere in Morocco. The mosques, wow. the pottery, wow. the lamps, the spices, spices. the clothes, wow. the food, and the wow. men. Yes, these men live in the Sahara Desert and they wear blue. Their skin used to turn blue from the dye in their clothes. I am in love with Morocco. There is color everywhere you look from the city to the desert. But the most colorful thing about Morocco has to be the people! That's one minute. See you tomorrow in Morocco! This is crazy. I am half Jewish, but my family comes from a Muslim country, Morocco. Jews in Morocco? Impossible! It is very possible. This is the beautiful town of Essaouira. A hundred years ago, more than half of this town was Jewish. Yes, Jewish Moroccans. They prayed here in more than 40 synagogues. They celebrated their holidays together. And they built businesses here. You can see the history just from walking around. Here you can see an example, the Star of David. This used to be a synagogue. And Essaouira wasn't the only town like this. There were Jewish quarters all across Morocco, like in Fez, Casablanca, and Marrakech. Before, there were 300,000 Jewish in Morocco, but now only 2,000 Jewish. Even though there were problems in the past, things are getting better. Jewish tourists of Moroccan heritage have returned to visit. And now finally, the constitution has been changed to make sure the remaining Jews have equal rights. So if you forget the politics and you look at me and you look at a Muslim, there really is no difference. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. We found the next Elon Musk. Hi, Nas Daily. I am Bilal. I'm 14 and I build robots. Bilal lives in Morocco, 10 hours away from the capital. And he's been building robots since he was four. He built this spinning clock that can show you the time in the dark. He built this trash can that opens automatically. And he even built this robot hand. Now, Bilal is 14 and he leveled up to AI. Yes, he built an AI robot. This robot can detect your smile. When you smile, it activates the screen and it's all powered by AI. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's smiling because I'm smiling. Okay, now I'm stopping. No, it's straight. Now <laughs> I'm smiling. It's crazy, it didn't work. He didn't learn this in school. He didn't learn this from friends. He learns it all by himself from YouTube. YouTube. He is a self-taught engineer and he's still just a teenager. Yes, it can be a little lonely, but that doesn't stop him because he has big dreams. I know I have talent to succeed and I want to make my own AI company. I want to be the next Elon Musk. When you think of the next Elon Musk, you think of countries like the US, UK, or Japan. But this small boy from a rural village in Morocco is proof that talent is everywhere. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. I am at the shortest border in the world. This border is so short, it's just 85 meters long. It's shorter than a football field. This short line separates two major countries. Morocco and Spain. But wait, why is Spain here in Africa? Let me explain. For centuries, Spain has had territories and colonies in Africa. And even though Spain let go of most of that land, they still own a few places. And this is one of the last holdouts. This is Morocco. And this is Spain. 
Spain. No one lives there except for Spain's military. This border is really impractical. Let me tell you why. At the border between these two countries, there is no train, no highway, no border crossing. If Spain needs to bring anything or anyone to this military fort, they have to do it by helicopter. It isn't just impractical, it's expensive. This border became famous because it's the world's shortest border. But for many, it's simply a reminder of the past. So the next time you're in Morocco, come visit this border before it no longer exists. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Look around. I am surrounded by mirrors. I'm in Morocco, and this is the world's biggest concentrated solar power plant. It's 30 square kilometers big, and it has 1.5 million mirrors. This farm uses the sun's energy every minute because these mirrors rotate with the sun. And the crazy part is, these mirrors can produce energy for up to 5% of Morocco's population. Yes, 5% of Morocco can be powered by the sun. We love the sun! And it doesn't stop there. Morocco also built the first 100% solar-powered village in all of Africa. See, if you look at the continent of Africa, this solar plant is one tiny dot. But look at how much space there is and how much sun there is. This is the potential Africa has to create solar energy. We will need much more north like this to power the whole planet, but having this first one in Morocco is a good start. As the world looks for solutions to climate change, we should all pay attention to countries like Morocco. Because if just one solar plant can power 5% of a country, imagine what we could do for all of humanity.